It is a sigh of relief for thousands of depositors whose cash had been held up for close two weeks now at Chase Bank since it went under receivership. According to Central Bank Governor Dr. Patrick Njoroge, it is now all systems go at the bank, with the Kenya Commercial Bank having offered to buy a majority stake in Chase Bank, thus providing enough liquidity to keep the bank afloat. All branches will open by Wednesday, April 27th, that is Wednesday of next week. All branches of Chase Bank in receivership. And uh, we also say that the online and mobile banking services, of which a lot of us are very familiar with, will also become available along the same timeline. This institution, KCB, has an interest in taking a majority share in this. Majority, I think we understand, you're asking what does that mean? Is it a million, uh, 100 percent? Is it 90? That is not for now. That is not Trump. There is a caveat, however, with Nyoroge noting that the bank will not be able to offer all banking services in the first few days. Though depositors will only be able to access up to 1 million shillings, Nyoroge says this represents close to 7 percent of all depositors, with a moratorium on payments to creditors and lenders remaining in place. Chase Bank Limited customers will have immediate access to their deposits up to a maximum of 1 million Kenya shillings, that there will be structured access on, on, the other, on the other more than 1 million. On the other, that is wrapped. What is not wrapped in that is, what do I mean by structured? Is it every three months? Is it every week? You understand? So those elements need to be, to be clarified and they'll be wrapped and, uh, and brought, brought out to the open. Um, as soon as possible. Njeroge says that efforts have been stepped up to collateralize existing loans and to recover funds obtained irregularly by the suspended directors with existing borrowers encouraged to continue servicing their loans. Firm action will be taken uh, against those that have abused the fiduciary responsibility that uh, was uh, granted them in the financial institutions. With massive withdrawals expected to take place, who does Nyoroge have to say concerning the long-term stability and credibility of the bank? So starting it off will require liquidity because nothing is coming in. So you can, but with time you'll see a lot of, uh, it will stabilize. So it's a stabilization period. Liquidity will be, um, will be provided as needed uh, by CBK and, uh, and, and KCB. Nyoroge says that Rafiki Microfinance a subsidiary of Chase Bank remains unaffected by events unfolding at the parent bank. Nicholas Ndwati, News Business.